Hi, I'm Martin Cook. I'm one of the snooker coaches in the Red Triangle in Cumberland. Well, it was 1980s and snooker was at its peak. Steve Davis, Alex Higgins were on TV. It was the, the main thing everybody was watching. There were millions of people watching it. Um, I went to Glasgow, to Reardon's, and I started getting coaching when I was 15. Well, <laughs> I've got that many trophies, they're up the loft half of them. Well, in the Red Triangle since 2002, there's been the three-man team, the Billiards Trophy, the ten-week league, six-week league, the club championship twice, uh, Player of the Year 2018, doubles, doubles as well, the double championship. Quite a lot over the last 20 years, um, and hopefully maybe more. I'll still keep playing. I'm Kevin Glenn. I'm one of the joint owners here at the Triangle Snooker Club. Uh, I'm also a WPBSA World Snooker Coach. And me, Martin and Liz have a, a coaching academy which we run every fortnight on a Saturday morning for a couple of hours. My name's Liz Cook. I'm a Level 1 coach for Junior Academy at Cumbernauld. The coaching, um, when we first did the coaching, Martin was a level one coach with Kevin. So, something that we could do together. If when we retire, that was the whole point of trying to do it and trying to build up an academy. Started it in 2018. At the beginning, I wasn't doing any coaching. I was just doing all the admin, organising things for the kids, making sure they were safe. I would think in the last five years, um, working with kids in the, the, the academy in the Red Triangle. We were in a situation, we didn't have a junior championship in here for 10 years. Involved with, with coaching through Scottish Snooker, we eventually set up an academy through Scottish Snooker in two or three clubs around the country. And we're basically just trying to get kids playing snooker again. One of the proudest moments is probably playing for Scotland um, as, as a snooker player. 2008, we played in the European Championships in Glasgow, the Masters. We got to the, the quarter-finals of the, the Masters event. Uh, 2009, we went to Russia to play in the European Championships. That was a bit of an experience. Didn't see grass for 10 days. It was freezing cold. And there was a wee shop beside the hotel with the Iron Brew on it, which was quite unbelievable. Uh, I would say Alex Higgins was mine. Um, 1982 when Alex became world champion for the second time was a, an emotional scene at the end when they brought the baby on and he was crying and upset because he became world champion. But um, I met Alex at the end of his life um, in Scotland at an exhibition. He signed my book. That was, it was quite emotional. Um, he was a great player. He it, it just it did, did the unusual things, things you wouldn't expect. It, it, it was, he could play shots that nobody knew how he did it. He, he was just an attacking player. He, he had a famous 67 break against Jimmy White. That was incredible, some of the balls he potted. Um, you can see the footage on YouTube. He, was, he, was, he inspired me to play. Um, when I was only 15, he was just world champion at the time.